what we've been waiting for tonight. Lily King of Indiana. She is in lane number four, looking to win this event for the fourth consecutive year. Let's have a look back at what she's done beginning in Atlanta in 2016. Lily King of Indiana looking to break her own NCAA and American record. She did it! 56-85 twice in one day for Lily King! Kiara Smith and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Lily King of Indiana. Here they come. Final 10 yards. 203-59, the American record. She's got it! Boy, she hit the two walls in the middle of that race. 56.30 is the time. Can King do it here at the NCAAs? Yes! 56.25 by five one hundredths. What is so remarkable about her, she has won both of her breaststroke events all three years. Her times have gotten faster right. every year in That's both events. That's what's so incredible about this journey that she's had the last four years, Rich, is, is she's literally gotten faster. That's so difficult. I can't begin to tell you. Repeating, but to go faster every single year, the expectations. Nobody for Stanford or Cal in this one. This story is about Lily King, and of course, we got to know her in Rio when she wagged the, theme, the finger at Yoyo -Yo Yefimova mm -hmm. of Russia. And uh, she's brash, she said, after winning the NCAAs last year, one of her races, I don't remember which. <laughs> we ask her. So many. <laughs> we ask her why, you know, why the success? She said, because I work harder than anybody else. Yeah. I talked to her right before the race tonight, and I said, how'd you feel this morning? She goes, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling this morning. I'll be ready to go a good one tonight. That's Lily. But Coach Ray Roos told me, I was standing there with both of them, he said she can't overswim this first 25. She can't get spinny this first 25. If she kind of just maintains that nice distance of per, distance per stroke, she'll be good. Set and sailing from there. Nailed that first turn right there. She's had a lot of pressure on her shoulders because she's been carrying Indiana, really, for four years. And she wanted that Big Ten championship so bad. And that's one of the reasons why she was 55-8, 25-9. That is ahead of pace. Wow. 55.88 at the Big Ten Championships. Can she set another NCAA and American record? 25 yards to go. 25.98. So much has been written about this young woman. So much will be written about this young woman. 55.88. That's the time to beat. Can she do it? Here comes Lily again. Yes! 73 she does it again <laughs> for the fourth straight year. She wins it, and it is another NCAA and American record. And she knew it. Oh, my gosh. You know, there's few races. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> that give you give you goosebumps. And, and I, I can testify. <laughs> I'm looking at your I mean, arms. Look at you that. got goosebumps right now, baby. I, I tell you, man, it's it's. I just have so much fun watching her swim. I could watch her swim all day long. Rowdy, she's so efficient. She is so efficient. This is what Ray Luz talked about. She's got to keep that efficiency the first 25. Don't overswim it. He said those, these exact words, don't be spinny that first 25. Maintain that first distance per stroke that you need to do. I don't think, I don't see any spinny there. <laughs> I don't see anything but absolute brilliance <laughs> the whole way through. And then she's 25-9, Rich. 25-9 at the halfway point. Nobody split that in the prelims on a flying start on the 200 medley relay this morning. And probably nobody will tonight, except for this young woman, that's how good she is. And this was a great field. Four of the fastest 10 swimmers in history were in this field. And that's how good Lily King is. Rowdy, at the Olympics, you talked about Adam Peaty. When he won it, you said he won it by like two seconds. It's incredible. Well, Lily King wins this one by 2.1 in mm. a 100-yard race. It's really something. She wins it again, and she's with Kat. Lily, congratulations. Now, every time you step on that block, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of expectations. How do you not only manage the pressure, but exceed expectations time and time again? 
I love the pressure. Uh, that's why I do this. There's nothing better. Nothing better than seeing your teammates scream your name and cheering for you and uh, do it for them. Well, that's why everyone loves watching you, too. Now, you've already won NCAA six times. This is your seventh. But how different does it feel, or, or how much more pressure did you put on yourself with it being your senior year? Um, I think I realized at some point during warm-up today that this is my last 100 breaststroke at NCAA. So, um, you know, I just went with it. I was really happy and just happy to be here and kind of looking back on my career. And um, it was just a really special one for me. All right, congratulations. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Rowdy, one thing about Lily, she smiles more than she used to. Yes, yeah, she does. She's got a lot to smile about, though, Rich. <laughs> yes, she does. She is a seven-time NCAA champion and wins the 100 breast for the fourth consecutive year and another NCAA and American record falls as she breaks the mark she set at the Big Ten Championships.